Okay, we're back. Oh we, no, not the toy barn again. We gotta do a bit of cleanup because oh. we finally have all the all the power ups. Now that another ventriloquist. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's the first thing we gotta do. There's a there's a baby check up here that we have to get, but we have we're on a time You're limit. On a time limit, and this why is you, uh, why do you have 45 seconds you, to save a baby check? Because the the gate closes if you don't. Oh, uh, okay. Time. Or more like the. The the hay bale the that's hay there bale like closes, stops yeah. stops work. Uh, but you need the rocket okay. you need the rocket boost to get here <laughs> within a reasonable time. <laughs> this is why I love the rewind feature, especially for like let's plays. Yeah. Saves, oh god, it saves so saves much a time. Lot of time. Hey, babe. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, when you hopped off it. <laughs> All right, that's the first check, right? Keep an yes. eye out for those screaming potatoes and those slack-jawed robots. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. <Ooh. laughs> which, which it's thirty-five years old now. Mm -hmm. What? As if we're recording it. As of recording, yes. Thirty-five year anniversary oh of hey. I know, God. right? I'm oh. wait. So, Johnny, how much longer do you think we got left? In this mortal <laughs> coil, you mean? Uh, yes. You well, want a realistic final... answer? A couple of months. Well, this, <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the but, final uh, part. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> dude, how old is Salute Your Shorts? That's that was the other one I was trying to think of. Yeah, with Salute Your Shorts. Uh, I mean, that's got to be around the same time. No, right? it's, it's it's younger it's than Hey Dude. It's younger. Yeah, it's younger, younger than but... Hey Dude. Yeah. Okay, so this is why we had to come back so that when we had to collect the chicks for this level. We uh this level uses the hover boots. Okay. So And this is temporary, like like it, it, it activates for a short period of time. Yep. Nineteen ninety one? I thought yeah. that thing was as old yeah. as Sonic the Hedgehog. Okay. Yeah. So your shorts was ninety one. It's another one too. That's another one I'm trying to think of. It might have just been salute your shorts. Welcome freshman. That I was thinking of. I don't remember Welcome Freshman. Uh yeah, I don't remember that one. I do. I mean I remember like you can't do that on television. I, I remember, remember fifteen. Yeah. Yeah. I remember you can't say that on television. <laughs> Uh, what did you say about? 15. Was that a Nickelodeon? Yeah, it was Nickelodeon, but it was also Canadian. It, oh, that's probably why. Oh, Adventures of Pete and Pete. Was that yeah, a, that was another was one. Ah, Pete and Pete was yeah, a good one, too. I uh, that was a good one. Um, fucking... What oh, other live action stuff? Ah. It, it's funny. We talked one of the earlier parts about, like, Disney stuff, and their focus was on live action. But mm -hmm. Nickelodeon had some pretty... Well, well I, I don't know if it was I think as popular. popular. I was like, I was like, Nickel no, it, it was, because yeah. remember, originally, I think that was the entire purpose of Snick. Saturday Night Nick? Yeah, Kalerstrick sings it all. Yeah. Are you afraid of the dark? Oh, yeah, dark. that's right. Uh, the Secret Life of Alex Mack. Um, there was one that had an alien. That um, was... Uh, wait, wasn't that Alex Mack? No, Alex Mack was the girl that alien, got alien. in the chemical space experiment. Cases? Was it Space Cake? No, no, there that was... was another that one. was the st I remember that one because I used, to, I used to watch that one because what's the Alan space? Strange? Alan Strange, oh, yes, Strange. Alan, was Strange. The, Alan Strange. His name was Alan Strange. That's right. That, he was an yeah. alien. The Journey of Alan the Strange. The Journey of Alan Strange. Thank you. I used to watch that all the time. Space Cases I used to watch, too. Uh, and that was originally because I believe the Black Power, uh, Waylon Jones, was one of the castmates in that one. And I was a big Power Rangers fan around that time. I was like, oh, that's, that's, that's the Black Ranger, so I'm going to go watch him. Uh, I remember liking it. Okay, but I was I was because I was also uh one I was also starting to get into Star Trek: The Next Generation. Mm -hmm. So okay. the two kind of just correlated with each other. I couldn't get into Star Trek despite my that was the one thing that you know my dad always lamented. Right. right. <laughs> uh, it, it, I have my, my father. I and have my, my uncle, mom to thank for my Star Trek. Yeah. yeah. Because my, she used to love TNG and Deep Space Nine. My father and uncle were massive are massive Trekkies. Yeah. I could never get in. I, right. it, I just did not sink, and I was like, uh, oh man, loved it. I was a Star Wars kid. Well, so was I, but I was a I was in anything that was sci-fi and geeky. Yeah. So I love Star Star Wars and Star Trek. I used to like um, I used to like Trek more because Trek had a sh had shows and they could do more stuff. Yeah. Right. You know, back in the day, I I'm talking about Star Wars before prequels. The prequels. Were so yeah. I had three movies, and that was all yeah. I had. And you know, I didn't do the three comics. movies on a holiday special. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, just, so three movies. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't have all of that. I didn't have all of that extra nonsense with it. I didn't do the comics or anything. So I always was a big a big Trek fan. But then when they started doing more with Star Wars, I was like, oh, yeah, Star Wars is definitely what I prefer. It's more but of your Trek, preference, yeah. Trek I followed up until – I followed through Voyager. I did not like Enterprise. I, I hear Enterprise was hit and miss. I just I didn't like it. I didn't like the premise. Well, then again, I, I also hear Voyager was pretty hit and miss, too. Uh, Voyager, Voyager's second half was significantly better than its okay. first. Once they really did a lot of the Borg stuff, 
I mean, yeah. it, it, early on was Borg stuff, but once they really did like seven of nine, they when she the joined the cast, the I was like, man, this is great. I got to ever since TNG introduced the Borg as a concept, they milked the fucking shit out of the Borg. Oh, they did, and like, they did good work with them. No, yeah, no doubt. Voyager but it's like, great like, we're, right, so we're there's going more back space threats than Borgs, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah but no, but none as severe. None yeah. were as severe. Like and then, Borg was the like the, the the first time, especially like in the TNG universe. Like, oh, this is fucking serious. Mm. And the, the thing is, Borg was mostly next gen because Borg, yeah. I don't think Borg, Borg, the, Borg. the DS9 didn't really deal with them at all. No, because it was so far after. Yeah, and then Voyager. The reason they dealt with them in Voyager was because at the very beginning they got sent somewhere, and uh, actually uh, that was how they were supposedly. That's how they were introduced in some way. Was that they sent the Voyager ship? To where Borg space was, or no? That I think that happened that's in next T that's gen. TNG. TNG. Because Q sent where them, they, uh, yeah, he sent, sent them there, and he basically showed the Borg that, that humanity exists. Yeah. So right. that well, was no, his it was fault. more like he wanted to humble, uh, he wanted to humble Picard, on uh, to show you that if you're willing to do this grand voyage, you have to be well aware These of are the what threats. is out there. Yeah. This is what's out and there. And he fucking sends them to the Borg yeah, space. and then that caused a whole bunch of yeah. problems. But then, yeah, then um, uh, Voyager did a bunch of stuff. They that was where the Borg Civil War started. Uh, so it was it was super interesting. I, I think a lot of what they did, but I think that was mostly second half. The first half was like, I mean, they're trying to do next gen again, and it just came off as I a mean, little bit annoying. No, I mean, I guess Deep Space uh, Deep Space Nine was TNG but with nineties edge. Uh, a little bit. It, it was pre premise wise, it was very different. It was they were stationary. Yeah. yeah, literally. So it ended up being sort of different. Not to mention, DS9 had a lot of religious overtones <laughs> and a lot of the Nazis are fighting. It, like there was a lot of that. So it was it was very different. Uh, but yeah, then Enterprise happened. Uh, I'm overdue for another TNG revisit. Would you try a different show instead? Would you um, go back to the, some of the newer ones? So the, uh, well, I mean, I would have to start from square one with Voyager. I never watched Voyager. And D Space Nine, the last time I fully watched that was before I was even in college. So it, it's been a long time. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, you know, they're good, but that's a commitment. Yeah. Going back to some of those shows is But a TNG commitment. is like, I slept into a fucking cozy pair of slippers. I love that show so much. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> So anyway, we're back here. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> As Elliot continues on his Toy Story, <laughs> and that is my st is my story of toy. <laughs> So it's like a butcher translation of the, the title screen. It'd be, like, it'd be like you hear like the orange steamboat with a toy xylophone. Ding! Ding! Oh, bing, 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 bing. oh I get it. I get it. So in the first movie, Woody goes on a Toy Story. And in the second movie, Buzz goes on a Toy Story 2. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And in All the right. third movie. It, in the third movie, it. they're both <laughs> thrown it. out. That's it. <laughs> And in the third movie, you cry. You fucking cry. Yep. Ooh. And then Ouch. in the fourth movie, you cry for a different reason. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad. It's just It a, just didn't just, need to it exist. Just, it didn't yeah. need to exist. It's it just it should have been Toy Story, it's, the new box. It's fluff. That's pretty much what it is. <laughs> Which right. is weird because there weren't any plushy characters. <laughs> no, there were. Well, was the, there a plushy? The, what, in, they were played by Key and Peele. Yeah, that's right. The bunny and the... Oh, well, okay. They were both bunnies, weren't they? One was a bunny, one was a chicken. Okay, okay. You know, Elliot, I think the bosses in this game aren't very good. I no. <laughs> I'm starting to think this game is is skewed to not be very difficult. <laughs> what makes you say that? Yeah, I don't know. You're telling me this game was made for kids? <laughs> Bullshit! What in the starfy is this? Dude. So, <laughs> I, 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 I want to ask that everyone else had the same reaction that I did. So, first off, it's really cool that they're releasing Starfy. three of the Starfy games on NSO. They're, like, they're completely yeah. untranslated. They're purely Japanese. Yeah, they're just out But there. did everyone else have the similar, there's more than one Starfy game? Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, for Actually, me, yeah. it was more like, I just went, oh, you know. Yeah, I mean, that's actually really how I felt about it, too. But, like, I only know of Starfy from the only game the West got, and that was in the DS. Yeah, the yeah, so legendary <laughs> Starfy. Yeah. I, so people I didn't, tell me there are five of these fucking games. Yeah, I didn't have that reaction. Yeah. Because I already knew. 
But when I first found out that there were more than one Starfy game, yeah. that's when I had that reaction. So I had that reaction, but I had it years ago. Hmm. When I was like, what do you mean there's like five of these games? <laughs> we got one. <laughs> Yeah, I was kind of. Uh, I thought that that was kind of wild that they put them out there. I I don't know what the fifth one is though, because there's three on the GBA, one on the DS, and I don't know if the last one is also on the DS. Maybe it's on the Master System. Yeah, I don't think it's it, no. it doesn't go back that. Far. Doesn't go oh, back I was, that. I think a wrist star. My bad. Yeah, wrist star. No, no, no wrist star only had right, a game well, on the Genesis. Wrist star was only on the Genesis. It's Genesis. Genesis. It's wrist star. Yeah. Is it wrist star? Is it yes. wrist star? I always said wrist star and wrist star. I go back and forth. Okay, we got. We just gotta get two more, two more ducks that we're good. Get ducks said, in a row. Said Dick Cheney. <laughs> you gotta get your ducks in a row. Ah. Wait, there's a duck right there. No, that's the one I take the the five to. Oh, okay. So the game that we got was the last game of the series. Oh, that, that was, was the last. The, game. Yeah, that okay. was the. Yeah. There were two DS games. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, Ooh, and nice. the that others were GBA. Oh, that explains why we didn't get the other one. <laughs> <laughs> there were no more Star <coughs> games. I have the box for the Starfy game. I've never had the game for I it. I still have mine it's in the case up there somewhere. I would think. Not up there. Not up there. In the other case. Okay. <laughs> that meant nothing to you. You think I put the retro <laughs> DS games in the retro corner? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> DS is not so retro. Fuck so out of here. There's the guy with Silent Hill games all over the place. They're not my Silent Hill games. <laughs> Those are my Silent Hill games. <laughs> oh, well, the it's time you put them in order. <laughs> not now, of course. We're still remember, recording. Remember, the difference between collecting and, and, and hoarding is organizing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, I'm just a very enthusiastic collector. <laughs> You're a hoarder. You buy it and put it on the shelf. You're a filthy you little hoarder, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. I'm a filthy little hoarder. Nobody cares. Yeah, tell me. You're a third rate yes. hoarder with a fifth rate collection. <laughs> yes. Tell oh, that's it. Uh, Greg, square <laughs> off. Yes. Tell, tell, tell daddy who's my dirty little hoarder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. yeah, right? <laughs> oh, God. I'm not interested oh. in this Toy Story porn parody. <laughs> you got a friend in me. <laughs> oh. oh, God. <laughs> You got no. You got some friends in you. Yeah. <laughs> Look out! Don't sneak up behind him. <laughs> now, th th those boxes will continuously spawn the toy yeah. plane, but you can destroy the box itself. Yeah, too. that that's the idea of it. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's take let's take the ducks over, and then we're the done. The stream this of level. water is very fucking random. Because no, it's, it's, well, like, it's, it's supposed to be, yeah, it's raining. Yeah, it's yeah. But drain. also, like, look how fucking thick this water is. Yeah. Though. It just seems to serve no purpose, too. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's, it's not thick. It's, it's just bone. different scenery, and it's raining. It's, it's big bone. No, no, I'm talking about the viscosity of the it's rainwater. This It's very thick. Like, that shit looks mm. like flowing gelatin. <laughs> Right. John wants to slap it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, look, look, look. When I'm going food shopping and I'm in the mood to buy a uh, banil, John, like, I see that shit. Do you want to do it? I fucking slap that shit. <laughs> now, that's a thick fucking piece of pork right there. You got you to test this dexterity. You got to yeah. make sure it's Ex all. You got, you got, dexterity. The, 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 the sound of the banil getting hit is yeah, how you can tell how good it is. I don't think that's dexterity. I heard dexterity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Slap that pork. That was like the first time we see Woody. Yeah, right? Holy shit! I forgot he exists! <laughs> this was oh, wait, no, no, no. We saw, we saw him one more time. Three times. Three yeah, because yeah, so. we saw him in the uh, the apartment scene when they met Jesse and Prospect. And then, and then when they're when they're like in the actual apartment. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tarmac troubles. I don't know why Jesse's even here. She's not even part of the stage. So this is the final level of the game, and I don't really like this one. Because it's, it's way too open. It's way too open. And it's not very interesting uh, outside of the very large plane. Yeah. Uh, and, like, the plane is a hazard. Obviously, don't get, don't get caught in the wheels uh, and that sort of shit. Oh, yeah. That's about it, though. Like, that's the only real danger of the plane itself. All right. Let's, Which let's, is wild, considering how, how close you are to a plane, you'd think the jet turbines would swallow you up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, but also, that is the world's smallest plane. Reminder, you are a toy. Yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> the, the scale's been kind of off. The, so he was in the living room stage earlier. He, the sofa was almost as big as him. Yeah. yeah. All right, so for this one, reach the end without touching the green shit. 
you almost the touched grass. the grass shit right there. Yeah, <laughs> the, the, don't the, touch the grass, watch out the shredded grass. It's not grass. It's, don't, it's don't. toxic slime. No, it's, it's grass. <laughs> so, oh my then, god, it's <laughs> deep! <laughs> <laughs> Somehow Buzz call lymphoma. <laughs> it's deep! Probably goes rolling around in that toxic waste. <laughs> Oh, great. You get superpowers. I get cancer. <laughs> oh, this, uh, oh, you're racing. Okay. Well, he's getting to the end without having to touch the green slime. But, yeah, you're also timed. Obviously. Okay. You can't just jump over to shit. Oh, it looked like it was... Nope. A... They, they... Fuck! Oh. <laughs> well, no! Yeah, just, just rewind. Just rewind. But, no, you can't jump over it. Then it'll, it'll say, like, nope, you cheated. Start really? It. It's... But, but, hold on. Why can't, you... Why can't the game reward you for having some ingenuity? Come on. So because it's basically you can have ingenuity, just not too much of it. It's basically an invisible. You can have wall. a little ingenuity as a treat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so everything's like broken off into like these different uh, they put, sections. They put rocket boots all over this fucking map, and I can um, see they why. knew how yeah. big this was. At the same time, at that point, if you know the fucking level's big, and you gotta put rocket boots everywhere, just fucking trick low. Yeah, they're toys. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Also, like, making sure I kill everyone so, I, I see so I can just, like, get, make sure when I get all the, the coins. When the game was so... Here's the thing about the um, the, the, the random prospector goons, I yeah. guess. Uh, this game was uh, in development before the movie was even officially out. So, obviously, like, I'm, I'm assuming, like, Pixar or Disney, whoever handles uh, stuff, gave them, like, the, the base layout of what Toy Story 2 was going to cover. And I think even, like, some of the earliest drafts, Prospector was supposed to have sidekicks. Uh, but they ended up being scrapped in favor of Jesse and Bullseye, uh, just being like side characters, that yeah. sort of shit. For Woody, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but the idea of the prospector having like henchmen, for lack of a better word, I think was when one of the earliest drafts. I think that's what the video game is basing on. That okay. earliest draft. Or maybe they're too. recycling the uh, first draft. Well, that's what this. I mean. Okay. That's like, like it's based off of like a, an early draft of the of the it, second movie. Yeah, it's oh, like, so yeah, it's like so it's like Jesse, Big Riddle. So Jesse and Bullseye wouldn't have existed. They would have, but not into the. They, they perhaps we just would have had henchmen. I think that's like, like the only difference. No, but that's what I mean. It wouldn't have been Prospector, Jesse, Bullseye, and henchmen. Or so I like, think it would have been all oh, like shit. all. Of them. All right, yes. okay. That like works. I think Jesse and Bullseye were always in like planned, but okay. not like to the degree that they might have. I'm not entirely sure. I don't have all the details. Okay, so like dead ass, I struggle with that puzzle. Yeah, I somehow got on my first try. All because right, you're recording yourself. we take those. Yeah, you basically the recording curses. These are a is a blessing yeah. or a curse. Either you're just gonna move on, or you're stuck in an easy part for seven hours. <laughs> yeah, the easy <laughs> stuff is hard. The hard stuff is easy. Yes, a blessing in disguise, oh, and vice versa. That's uh, I was telling you about uh, Sonic Adventure Two. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it was the last boss. There's like a last part that's apparently extremely difficult. Um, um, oh, the biohazard. The, the biohazard. The, so not so okay. So bio the bio lizard. Bio lizard. Yeah, the bio so not not the part where it's in space and you gotta like hit the things on the side. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The part before where you gotta jump around. Your shadow. And, and, yeah. 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 Um, apparently there's a part where it's very difficult. Uh, like the last hit when, when you lose control of shadow. The and last you're, and hit. And you're floating towards the core. So they put me right in front of it, <laughs> and it, I, I pressed the button and it was over. Oh, nice. So, and so, everybody so was like, "Oh, they just." They gave, they, it was a gimme. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, yeah. It's like, dude, I'm so I was alive. good at video games, man. I was alive. So they were just like, yeah, we're just going to we'll put it right yeah. put your right in front of that, it. Just that, a gimme. That is probably one of the most infamous parts of the game for me because I yeah. struggled so much as a kid. Everybody was like, oh, we're going we're gonna to see how he does here. And it just they first tried. They put me right in front of it. <laughs> literally, they got, they're putting on the, <laughs> they're literally putting on the Tails Got Troll face. They felt bad for all the other crap that they put me through. <laughs> Go, Buzz! Oh, God. No, wait, so now what do you get on the plane? What are you climbing on? I think it's like you have the pole and you have like the little extra little flag. flag. Yeah, flag like, you get the little that? extra. I, I've yeah. Seen some, yeah. That's fine. Again, we're toys. Excuse me, sir, let me in. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm Buzz Lightyear. I come in pies. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> that's easy to get by. <laughs> please, please don't come in my pies, sir. What the hell is that on the wing? Can't you tell? It's plain to see. <laughs> <laughs> also, it just cuts to the fucking like Twilight Zone uh, yeah. story. Uh, the There's thing someone on the, on the wing. wing. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to just stop talking. This here was an amazing. <laughs> that there was an amazing cheesy pun found here only in the Twilight Zone. <laughs> it's someone laughing to the Twilight Zone. <laughs> <laughs> Go, good. 
Fuck that bird. <laughs> you saved the plane. That would have been a bird strike. <laughs> Oh, now you can jump over it. Yeah, because well, yeah, I'm not doing, I'm yeah, not doing yeah. the time. The time trial. This what? is, like I said, this is the most annoying part. By the way, what exactly, what exact purpose does this serve at the airport? Also, yeah, is this the plane, plane ever, is is plane going ever gonna turn, Yeah, is the plane ever going to turn off? No, it's just a circle. Also, let's a, take, can we take a look at the tarmac? It's because a, the tarmac, I think, is just one large circle. It's it just is. a big honestly, circle. I, That's what I'm saying. Honestly, I, yeah. I think the plane's just trying to get clearance. No, but it's a where big are they circle. going? It's a circle. You it's can't a circle. launch a plane from a circle. You have to have a long stretch of road. <laughs> I call it's that a talk. circle <laughs> surrounded by a so, wall. The, the plane's not a fucking firecracker. It spins in circles and then it just goes up. <laughs> it <should be. laughs> all right, all right, everybody. Uh, here we go, everybody. Prepare for takeoff. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's just popping it pops and it's over. Yeah. Whatever happened to the second buzz? Uh, he he was playing catch with his father. That's right. Yeah, the second Good buzz doesn't, doesn't help you at all. Yeah, fuck yeah, fuck Butt Lightyear. Mr. President, a second buzz has entered the airplane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, where's so, the? I'm sure somebody's done a modification of Buzz Lightyear. Dude, what the fuck? This toy has shockwave technology. Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> is this is Death I Adder. Have, I have, I'm gonna be real. I have no idea how to fucking dodge him. Uh, stand on a second. Stand on the uh a uh, 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 higher ledge. Maybe? Try it. Just, like, just humor me. Yeah, that's all you got. <laughs> just run away. It's been 20 years. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> 20 like, something oh years. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> There's a ledge? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I always hate that. I kind of love have a love-hate relationship with that. You fought, you've, you're struggling your ass off against an enemy or your boss. You don't know what the fuck you're doing. Yeah. Then somebody just points it out. And you're like, oh, my God. Oh, that's what I was supposed to do. Ah, wait a second. <laughs> wait, B button? It's <laughs> another what do you mean one? There's a button to slow down. Okay, so we still need to get the coins and then. How many coins do you have? Th 34. Uh, 34. 16. Yeah. yeah. Helicopter's gigantic compared to the plane. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, the helicopter is more reasonably <laughs> sized. Oh, my God. Yeah. Because I know private airplanes because, exist, but they're but the still way, pretty sizable. But with the, the way Elliot was um running towards it at that angle, it looked like friggin' one of the complete chaos, one of the cha artificial chaoses from Sonic Adventure 2. <laughs> <laughs> Nine more. Almost there. And hey, wait, what are you just killing birds for the sake of it? I need well, the coins. Yeah, you're, oh, just, okay, you're just collecting yeah. coins so for ham. Ham or ham yeah. DM stretch. Why do we got to pay 60 <laughs> coins? Fuck you, Buzz. Also, baby. where is my ham? <laughs> you want your ham? All right, close your eyes and suck it out through the straw. I was like, do, um, do enemies respawn with coins? No. It no? Seems like they okay, are. so uh, yeah, uh, just ah. because the level's very samey. So I can't tell who you've already killed and not killed because it looks like to me I thought you were just abusing like a loophole. <laughs> all right, excellent. Now we can go find our fucking pig. They're both they're on ground levels. So. Are they? Yeah. yeah imagine both imagine the last one of them is on the plane. <laughs> like both the last briefcase I need to collect and the hammer. And, and well, yeah. here's ham. Could um, you just the of, uh, the voice of and there's some cheers. Um, um, George went. No, 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 no. Uh, John. Uh, uh, John Lasseter? No. Well, John Lasseter was, um, he was one of the... John Lasseter wishes. <laughs> I was going to say Ritter, but that's not him. Um, I know oh his God. name. I know his fucking name, dude. Like, I see his face. I he see Ratzenberg. Uh, Rat Ratzenberg. John, John, John Ratzenberg. Yeah, yeah. Now, he's in every pickup. He, yeah, he did a ton of Pixar I think stuff. he's in all of them. In, um, like, in some form or fashion, like, his voice is he might in, be, in, yeah. like, in all of them. All right, there we go. That's our last <laughs> he one. He was also in Star Wars. Uh, he, uh, if I remember right, uh, I, I wasn't sure if it was confirmed, and then I'm pretty sure that it was. He was in Empire uh, okay. at the beginning when they decide that they're going to evacuate, and Princess Leia is giving out the orders for who's going to do what. When she when she breaks breaks up the meeting, yeah. and then the guy steps up and he says, "All right, everybody on your transports, let's go." Yeah, that's him. That's him. Ah. That's okay. uh, if I remember right, that's John Ratzenberg. You think that's what got on the with, roll for cheers? With the with the Purina <laughs> logo. 
They had those weird, the, like the medals that they wore. The yeah. I guess they were like the officers insignia. Yeah, they always look like the Purina logo to me. <laughs> <All> <laughs> it's right. like the all square right. with the so, red dots. Ready to wrap this up. So fifty tokens. We got everything. We got all the power ups. We're ready for the last one. It's the final right. toast tata. Fifty tokens. Yeah. They, couldn't, they couldn't use a render of the prospector for this title screen. Use an in-game model. Yeah. Get ready to see Woody's in-game model. Oh wow. Oh. Hoo, hoo. Wait, why does he have a five o'clock shadow? <laughs> yeah. Why does he have a five o'clock shadow? It makes All right. Sense. So the final boss, Elliot, also does not start with the game. Doesn't start you with full health when you start a stage. Nope. That's really fucking weird. All right. So we're gonna take an L here. It's fine. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, and the final battle is just the rematch against all three of the Prospector's goons at once. Yes. I thought it was also the Prospector. The Prospector is also there as well. Uh, but you have the you have the cowboy from the apartment. You have the dude that we fought earlier with the shockwave. That's uh, racist. <laughs> and then you have the Prospector himself. And they all seem to do the Prospector and the, the, the oh, black... The Prospector and the Blacksmith kind of just do the same fucking attack. They do. Yeah. yeah. Only one's a Blacksmith and one's a Prospector. <laughs> one's a Shockwave and the other's a Fire Bar. <laughs> Together, they're Prospector and Blacksmith. Why can't the Smith be white? <laughs> what, what the hell does a white Smith do? I don't know. <laughs> it's just, it makes things out of plastic. <laughs> <laughs> and we did it. And that's game. Yay! Hey! Hey! He's got a five hey! o'clock shadow. Oh, it's been a rough day for a toy. That's the thumbnail. <laughs> 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 but we did it. We did Toy Story 2. Woohoo! Not Hold after on. we saved the game first, you peak. Yeah, who knows what happens here? I don't know. We had to see. <laughs> Oh, license music starts playing. That's <laughs> <it>. <laughs> uh, thankfully, it is. it is a it is a it is a version of the song well, made for the game, so I don't think we have to worry about copyright. Yeah, like it's made specifically for this version. Yeah. So. And they fucking murder him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they should throw him in a box. And then he it that like the like a thrift store or something, and there's a kid that comes up to buy cheap toys, and it's Sid. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> like Sid no. Would, no, Sid would still be traumatized no. from the toy thing from last time. Um, I must go. Oh, this they, is where, they fuck in the next movie. Yeah, I think that. Well, this is also where Buzz pops a Woody. I think. Yeah. I think so. <laughs> uh, if I recall. <laughs> Hot Wheels were cool. That's another thing I owned. Hot Wheels. I I, I had a couple <laughs> of Hot Wheels. <laughs> but I was never a Hot Wheels kid. And there we go. That's Toy Story 2. Yeah. Uh, overall, a very solid 3D platformer. Woo! Not yeah. very long. LA completed in less than four hours. Yeah. I know, right? So we got more time to do other things. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, all together, because I, I was trying to platinum this game, too. And not only that, just, like, practicing this oh, game. Oh, John Burton was involved in this, too. Well, I guess look at the Traveler's Tale. So, you know. Yeah. Well, who's John Burton? Uh, John Burton uh, helped develop Sonic 3D Blast. Uh, oh. Sonic R. Um, yeah, that would do it. Dude, yeah. like, dude has a YouTube channel uh, like, where he goes in-depth with, like, how the games were made. And that sort of thing, dude is very knowledgeable. Didn't, didn't Traveler's Tales also do the PC version of Sonic 3D Blast? Yes. Or did they just do well, I mean, they, 3D Blast? That was, that was all Traveler's Tales. Yeah, okay. that was all Traveler's Tales. But I think my favorite thing was like the secret level select for Sonic 3D Blast is him smacking the cartridge. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then it, it actually activates the level select in Sonic 3D Blast in the Genesis. Wow. So like, like, the, that, that channel is very fun. Um, he, he seems like a pretty swell dude. Yeah. Bruce Campbell. <laughs> or, or, I, I don't think it's that Bruce. Yeah, I'm, it should be that I'm, Bruce Campbell. Yeah. <laughs> Hope it is. Like I said, this is this is Baby's first collectathon, and like it, it's still a very solid game. Yeah, like, I think we, it's fine too. Yeah, yeah. Like, we, we did play, fine. Like we played a bunch of it growing up because you know it's not just like a licensed video game tied to a property we really like watching, but it's also a solid 3D platform. Yeah. God, yeah. he beat it in one sitting. Fifty dollar game. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I can't question. believe they charge full price I, for this. I, I, I like. This is definitely something we'd rent and beat in a weekend. Because, again, it's not a very long This is something yeah. you rent and beat in a day. Yeah, I'm, it's very true enough. I, I do wonder, like, what this game cost, like, MSRP when it first released. It, the, given it's a Disney property, it was probably 50 yeah. bucks. Again, we're also oh, why older. Is, why is Woody familiar. so orange? <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're more familiar. But, you know, 
does twelve year old <laughs> you beat this in a day? Probably yes. not. Yes, I would say yes. You think so? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, I, I wonder Dude, if twelve year old me would. Like, like, uh, like, if, if I'm playing something I really like, I'm obsessed. Yeah, that's true. If I had all day to play it, I probably would yes. beat this. In yeah. <laughs> and that's why I'm an RPG guy. <laughs> <laughs> because sometimes I get very <laughs> obsessed. <laughs> but with all that, that is Toy Story two. Good job. Why don't work, man? Only six parts. Let's fucking go. <laughs> <laughs> We're pretty about the prospect. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so uh, who's next? Uh, uh, we'll we will talk about we'll that figure afterwards. That out. But uh, we want to thank you guys for tuning in and watching our playthrough of Toy Story 2. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I had a lot of fun discussion. This yeah. This was yeah, a fun time. Walking down That's memory lane with like toys and all that stuff. Yeah. And we would love to hear what you guys thought uh, about this game, the, the playthrough and that sort of shit. And we'll see you guys next time with our next playthrough. With all that said, I'm Johnny. I'm Elliot. I'm Matt. I'm Greg. We're the Super Gamer Brothers. You guys have a fantastic night. Thank you for watching and take care.